The OPDS sensor must be initialized in the vehicle for it to work with the main airbag computer. You will have a code or the airbag light will remain on until you do this. We are with an ACRA um, with this scan tool. This is a Master Tech scanner that does it. It's same thing for the Hondas. In the other vehicles, they call it a passenger present system, which is a PPS, same computer doing the same job in a different vehicle with just a different name. But the computer has to know where the information is coming from. This scan tool uh, runs through a few menus to initialize the OPDS. You have to have a scan tool that is capable of doing that. So this is just a few menus here. This is going to let us know that you're in the system. You're going to work with the, uh, the airbag system here. And you select yes to this. And then you're going to run down to the menu not looking for codes. You're going to see codes. It will clear out the codes. It will keep coming back in. What you want to do is do the, um, the, uh, the setup for this. So you normally do the, the, the test for this. OPDS system initialization right here. <clears throat> and this is the menu you're looking for. Once you initialize it, it will marry the OPDS sensor to the main airbag computer and then you won't have to do it anymore. It sometimes asks you to do weights. If it's a Toyota or a different vehicles, it'll ask you to put 50 pounds of weight in the seat. And then once this is done, um, your airbag light will go off and, and, uh, and you're finished. That's um, how you initialize the OPDS sensor. If you have replaced the passenger seat and didn't realize you had the sensor in the back of the passenger seat or on the bottom of the seat, you need to get the OPDS sensor and bring it back to the vehicle because your main computer is looking for the OPDS sensor. If you've installed a brand new or a different airbag control module, it is looking for its OPDS sensor from that vehicle. They have to stay together at all times. If you install a new airbag controller, you're going to have to have the OPDS sensor initialized.